Now, I, I, I'm really concerned because the rapid response squad is like um, a unit of the Nigerian police force. They understand the rudiments. They understand the rules of engagement. Now, this is an ordinary security man in a hotel. And for whatever reasons, whatever negotiations they had, they gave police ID cards. In fact, that's of a commissioner of police, not just any, maybe a sergeant or cover or something. That's of a commissioner <coughs> of police to a non-officer. And he has been parading in that office. What is your take? Well, I'm not surprised. Frankly speaking, I am not surprised. When you hear stories like this, it tells you the, the, the level with which the Nigerian citizens, the level of disrespect they have for this country. Otherwise, a serving police officer, ordinarily, like you said, they're supposed to know the rule of engagement. They're supposed to know the implication when somebody impersonates an office and you still go ahead deliberately to give the official ID card to somebody who is not part of the organization. It tells you the level of disrespect, the level to which Nigerians don't believe in their society. Nothing they happen is the bottom line. We can do anything and go away with it. So that is what I'm taking from this, that the men, the, the, the men, the citizens of this country don't believe in their country and they have no honor for their country. Otherwise, in a normal society, citizens who believe in their country, you don't just sell your country in this manner. This is what we call selling a country. Somebody who is not a policeman is not just, like you said, not an ordinary police officer, not a recruit, a CP for that matter. Commission, and that means that there were many commissioners of police in Lagos State. The one we know on TV, the one we know on, on paper, and the ones we, we, we do not know. There are very many. But let me shock you. <clears throat> Why I say I'm not surprised about this, that you have fake lawyers, you have fake police. Do you know we have fake men of God in this country? Are you aware that we have fake more than 80% of people who parade themselves as men of God, they are fake in this country. But if I say this now, somebody will say I'm judging. But if we are talking of a police officer, I am not judging. If you are talking of fake, fake lawyer, I am not judging. But the moment you go to the realm of men of God, so don't judge. You are not the God to judge him. That is the kind of society we have. But I'm telling you, any man who is not genuine in whatever that he is doing, Whatever that you are carrying, if you say you are a man of God, you say God call you, and you know very well God did not call you, you are a fake. You are a fake. So this man is not a policeman, and he's carrying the police ID card. Is that why he's a fake? He's a fake. The lawyer, he's not a lawyer. He was not trained for it. He was he's not called to bar. He's parading himself as a lawyer. He's fake. Now, this is so, it's, it's very unfortunate that we get to see these... Um, every now and then in the society. Now, you talked about having respect for one's nation, and I totally agree that it shows the level to which we respect our nation. But if you also look at it, we know very well, because I want to believe that anyone that is doing anything illegal has something somewhere inside of him that will say, well, this is actually wrong, but then you still believe that you want to do this. Now, you know very well that it is wrong. You know you are not... <coughs> a police officer in the first place, you are not a lawyer, but you are parading as one, and maybe enjoying uh, um, the benefits that comes with that office, because people would see you as such. I mean, he went to, imagine going to a police station to introduce yourself as a CP when you are not one, yes. and they accepted him as such yes. until investigations and um, revealed that he was not. Now, the truth is, <coughs> people do not have respect for this nation. Now, what exactly is responsible for that? <laughs> well, when you talk about respect for a nation, it's holistic. Those in government, the honorary citizens, and those who money in the various institutions in the society. The, if government
government fails to do what it's supposed to do, the citizen will lose respect for the government. If a government, if the citizens of a country believe that a government is illegitimate, no matter how you put it, no matter how it looks like, no matter how you carry yourself, once the people of a country believe that a government is illegitimate, whether in a local government, whether in a state, whether in a country, you are burdening the citizens to disrespect the values and laws of the society. Look at the temerity, the courage, a lawyer who is fake, he will go to a police institution. Is the belief that in this country anything can happen? Anything can, even if you are arrested, no, with money, with Nara and Kobo, you can sort your way out. That's just the belief of the people. And again, because people must feed. Your citizens must eat. There's a video I saw yesterday. Those who are struggling for palliative, I don't know whether I've seen that video. If you see the way people rise, people were, the rice were poor the ground, and people were packing rice from the ground, citizens of Nigeria, mm. citizens of Nigeria, the giant of Africa. So in such a situation, people can formulate, can fabricate anything just to make a living because they believe that those in government, they are also doing whatever they are doing in order to earn a living. So what the responsibility, as you are saying, is on all fronts. The police officer must carry himself as one serving a society. And like I wrote in one of my articles yesterday, is that any person, whether you are a judge, whether you are a police officer, whether you are a governor, whether you are a president, you do not have any physical or spiritual divine advantage over any other Nigerians. The honor and the respect that society gives to you is the one given to you by the Nigerian state. So you don't have to abuse it. Because the moment you abuse that privilege, you have a body society to kill values, to find ways of feeding themselves how they can also make a living. 